Welcome parents, athletes, and coaches to the Parisi Monthly Newsletter. Today we're going to be talking about some important points when it comes to running, how to get your knees up. I'm with my son, Dan the Man, and he's going to demonstrate for us today this technique. Now, first thing, when we talk about getting our knees up, we want that knee lift to really be a reactive um, approach or having a reactive approach. Let me explain what I mean by being reactive. When we sprint to maximize sprinting ability, we want to put a big force into the ground, quickly into the ground. But we also, when we put that force into the ground, I want to use this medicine ball as an example, we don't want to respond and be, you know, have a deadened effect. We want to respond off the ground. Let that knee and let that foot pop off the ground. That's what the hip flexor is supposed to respond like. This hip flexor, which is responsible for bringing our knee up, should act like a rubber band or a yo-yo. Think about when you play with a yo-yo. You go down and you have to time it to come back up and it kind of comes up on its own. That's how the knee should respond or the knee lift should respond when we sprint. So I want to educate you on that, give you a couple drills on how to maximize that. But more importantly, I want you to make sure you understand it. That's the key, understanding the why. And that's the difference at the Parisi Speed School, giving you the why. So Dan, one of the things we're going to do, simple high knee march. And when we perform a high knee march, a couple things. Dan's going to keep a strong neutral spine. He's going to stiffen his core. If I'm going to come and prog him in the sides here in the obliques, I want it to be stiff. He's going to use a, a relaxed arm action, but he's going to really focus on bringing the knee up past his belt buckle. So let's just do a simple high knee march then. That's it. See how the knee is just coming up? Look at that lift. Look at the spine, nice and strong. Good job. Now spin around, come back same way. And we're going to add a little bit more speed and rhythm. So he's going to pick it up a little bit. He's really working on knee lift. He's not crashing into the ground. He's coming down under control. Now, what we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to work on a skip. Now in this skip, I want the knee to respond off that ground, coming up off the ground, just like that ball when I bounced it elastic properties. The body is a, a, is a symphony of muscles. It's an orchestra. To run fast, you've got to time those muscles correctly. That yo-yo, you've got to time it up. So Dan's going to do a skip, and he's going to use his arms, and it's going to be a relaxed skip, and he's going to focus on popping off the ground. So Dan, let's come down about 10 yards, 15 yards. You see how he's just letting that knee snap up? Very nice. And same way right there. We're going to come back. Just look at Dan and watch the way he just allows the knee to come up. He's not forcing it up, it's responding. And when you go and watch a, a high level track athlete, this is how they skip. Now understand, this is more of a, what we call a recovery skip or a knee lift skip. We're not worried so much about jamming a big force into the ground, we're just responding off the ground. Same way back then. Excellent, excellent, nice job. Now, we're going to take this to the next level, and now we're going to do what we call a double skip, or technically really a triple skip. He's going to touch that ground three times, and you can think of it as being a double, but he's going to do a couple, uh, an additional hop in this skip, and he's going to stay on that uh, straight leg, keeping that other leg straight a lot more effective. So we're going to focus on keeping that opposite leg that's in the ground on that ground and taking one ad additional hop. So Dan, let's go into the skip but we're adding a hop. So it's really a triple skip. Here we go. Excellent. Now, you can see Dan's posture. He's staying erect, he's staying strong. That leg into the ground is staying stiff. And he's really working on technique. He's not forcing it. It's, it's a response. He's responding to the ground forces. One more time coming back in. That toe is up. Good arms. Excellent. And relax. So what we have is a high knee march. We've got a skip and then ultimately a triple skip. So if you practice that progression, added part of your warm up, get used to getting that knee up, fire those hip flexors at the right time like that yo-yo, yo -yo, and you increase those techniques or enhance those techniques, no doubt, the higher you get your knees, the more force you're gonna be able to put into the ground. Your leg is like a hammer. You gotta hammer that ground. If you're gonna try to strike a nail into the piece of wood, are you gonna take a short stroke 
or a real big stroke, you gotta get a big stroke to generate a lot of force. Do that, you're gonna run faster. Great job, Dan.